on YouTube, welcome to Upside DIY. So this is actually a good way to wash metal parts. Uh, I took a part, pretty much uh, just a, a bucket, and you just using a metal sifter, it works really good for cleaning and just dumping out parts. And I'm gonna have to wash these things and stuff and. Uh, just wanted to kind of update you guys just because I made a video about making a parts washer uh, a lot of it uh, sh from what this shows is a little bit uh, over the top or too much I guess and I just wanted to kind of update on cleaning some of the parts and stuff and uh, it's real important to uh, you know just try to uh, you know, and some of these are bolts really rusted up. So I've been kind of doing a wash and stuff, uh, just random uh, stuff that, I, that I'm cleaning up. And here's some more stuff. And I've been collecting, bringing in some of my old bolts and just been collecting paper chip bags. And I have three or four bags of bolts that uh, pretty much I've got to wash up and stuff. And just um, kind of store them, sort them out, and then, you know, keep the nuts and washers. So, I've also learned how to uh, clean up pretty much, like, just really dirty wrenches. Uh, just by using some of my old uh, brush cleaner and stuff like that. Um, I still have to filter out and stuff, but uh, I just used a popsicle stick. And just dipped some inside and then just smeared it on and then it started to uh, help me clean and then I just used a, a, a scraper and then scraped off a lot of the gunk and stuff stuck to the tool so yeah it's a good um, you know way to just keep reusing stuff and uh, cleaning so I got that wrench and then you know I'm just getting uh, pretty much my tools cleaned up and reorganized and you know just having skateboard stuff to work on and bicycles but I'm gonna switch out these uh, white bushings I'm gonna collect some of these skateboard parts and try to clean them up and reuse them and uh, maybe uh, you know just um, get a little bit of touch-up paint and things like that um, and a spray box so using the spray box and painting repainting uh, you know uh, nuts and bolts and stuff uh, I learned to use like a plastic underneath and it, it kind of did pretty good and maybe on the last day I could kind of paint um, again but uh, yeah I had to keep an eye on this and I'm uh, you know once it started to dry a little bit I did move it around and stuff but hopefully uh, you know um, and a lot of these nuts and bolts uh, I would recommend getting one and a quarter inch if you're going to use washers and then if you don't have the washers and stuff then um, these are like one inch they have one inch ones and they even go up a little higher to one and a half inch but I would just recommend going in the middle and getting the one and one quarter inch these one inches um, or one inch bolts and stuff so yeah I gotta just peel these things off and um, I, at least you know they're pretty much all the way painted compared to uh, you know having on paper I'm just using something plastic like a plastic bag flatten it out and then um, I could really remove a lot of these nuts and bolts and at least one side would be perfectly clear clearly uh, you know painted nicely but I even have little small washers. I picked out um, three, enough for three skateboards because I have three trucks and stuff. So I got to really, we, uh, you know, remove a lot of these and even um, checking out which ones I don't need to paint. And then I just sort those out. But uh, yeah, so uh, I get to save up a lot of these parts, but actually the ones here are actually going to be installed pretty soon. So I painted these yesterday for like a day or two and then um, 
doesn't come out perfectly, but uh, yeah, sometimes when you're when they're on a string and stuff, it it's, it actually works pretty good. But there's always going to be a small spot that uh, so that's why laying out on plastic, uh, you can get the last spot and then um, go from there. But a lot of these are are just for the nuts and bolts. They're not going to be for the bearings. So they they could pretty much be uh, painted and stuff. So that's most of my video and update. The rest is maybe just finding some random small stuff. Or maybe I can make something out of it. Kind of like collecting little miniature uh, like vending machine toys. They're pretty fun and um, interesting. And yeah, I could definitely uh, wash a lot of stuff up and um pretty much um taking apart things and i like this uh type of skateboard and um yeah i just have uh and uh just taking apart things and remaking stuff out of it i took off the uh nut but this wheel is really stuck and i've got the other ones right here and i gotta remove the wheel bearings the old wheel bearings and clean these up and uh have them ready for uh for another skateboard and stuff it's kind of flat on one side these are like kind of like roller skating pretty much roller skating wheels but i got another kind of pretty much uh free set uh of these so these could probably go on a cheap skateboard and uh i might have to use a bearing puller for that so there's just a lot more work that I'm going to have to do, you know, I've got to do this little corner, um, sorting out and cleaning up stuff, windows and, uh, you know, go to the Home Depot and buy some supplies, build pretty much a stand, a bicycle stand. And I'm getting most of those pieces uh, painted up and cut and painted up and then I'm going to be able to build some bicycle stands. But, you know, I kind of need like a bicycle shelf, you know, I, I do, uh, you know, have a pretty much uh, idea or plan and stuff. There's even like pieces of wood over there that I could probably use for something like that. Just finish up building that and I could probably, uh, you know, put that against that wall and then be able to work on bicycles and stuff in this area, which would be really nice. So that's going to be coming pretty much uh in a few months hopefully um you know i just get this stuff cleaned up sorted out so if you guys kind of miss what i was saying yeah um there's one inch and there's like one and a quarter inch uh these are a lot nicer i'm going to actually look for uh, better deals but this is kind of one inch so yeah um and, and these are like really special screws nuts and bolts and things like that so uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, but just having some that are the same length is good enough, you know, um, and, uh, the set so that they could fit through trucks, uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, after all, if, if you're just going to be putting together used boards. So I am trying to, uh, you know, try to make some money reselling stuff. This is really old, but hardly used computer bag, a few bags and stuff, some, electronic repairs and you know just electronics I guess electrical stuff and sorting out and cleaning up I really get a lot of uh, you know interesting sizes so that I could go compare and match up things um, take care of whatever I need to to help me um, you know get get a lot of stuff done I guess and I was looking for this few of these th items so I gotta remember uh, you know where things are so but uh, eventually I'm gonna just clean up a lot of this area within a week or two uh, I've just haven't been doing anything just because I'm just trying to relax and uh, you know take care take care of you know the time and stuff um, but wearing gloves while cleaning up and sorting out things uh, knowing where things are and stuff uh you know resorting out and cleaning up uh you know the best i could so i'm resorting out a lot of my cassette tapes and these gives me hope 
to get back into something you know besides video games uh you know just making music to and listening to music is always relaxing and um yeah so i just have to sort these things out and uh yeah i just want to show you guys pretty much some of my diys for uh, october and things like that or that i've been doing and also i'm going to get some really good uh duct tape that's black and you know having black duct tape it, it would really help uh finishing up a lot of these boxes and um pretty much completing them for the whole build and things and duct tape would be really good for that and then i've got extra suitcases to uh, help me sort out and store you know extra bags and stuff to help me sort out stuff that and boxes that i collect and stuff just to help me um you know just keep them organized for one so i could find them easier and also uh, cleaned up and things and then um having me uh you know uh you know keep my valuables pretty much uh you know cleaned up and organized and there's pretty much a suitcase over there that i'm probably going to use for my aquarium supplies so it's pretty much the same stuff and you know just clutter and just unorganized stuff but i'm planning to organize uh you know aquarium stuff gaming stuff those are two important things to organize and then tools you know and then um i should be pretty much uh put together and relax and then just uh you know just going out there looking for uh more deals and you know systems to hook up so it's not it's definitely not a problem problem to hook up just random uh you know DIY projects and stuff but I also uh you know enjoy uh just sharing some of my picked up items uh these glasses are pretty nice these are pretty nice they're pretty uh you know different and things and um these can be pr made professionally there's a nice signature on there but uh, there are a few scratches on the inner lens and stuff like that. So it's a pair of older glasses. And, you know, just by the way that that rubs against there, I don't know if they're really that great of a model or anything. But, uh, yeah, I just got, like, you know, some wearable stuff. And these uh, fold, and uh, this is pretty much cleaned up. And, um, you know, there are some signatures and some don't, but, you know, um, it's going to be really fun to, to, to uh, kind of wear these whenever, uh, you know, I need something. Uh, I would actually wear the, this one, um, and, you know, these other ones ha have, like, colorful things to help me match my outfit, so it's really not that bad. Uh, I have, like, four different colors, so... So here's just another uh, odd box that does need some tape right there and then I'll be really happy I think and um, thinking of using those. They actually fit pretty nicely within this painting rack and things like that so I don't so I'll keep that in mind if I ever build anything and there's just random stuff that uh, I cleaned up and uh, and planning to reuse or you know just have sorted out for other DIY projects so thanks for watching my video um, you know a, a nice container like this is always useful especially with labels so I know where things are I'm gonna use this for a polishing rag so you know and you know I, luckily I find some random stuff I kind of make random stuff so uh, I'm always busy um, and trying to learn uh, and you know sort out and organize like all this stuff right here could be changed around hopefully and then uh, you know but so far I've just been organizing like that I need I, I might need some paper boxes and stuff to really work with a lot of DIY crafts and stuff that I store away but I can't wait to get all that stuff done and, um, you know, sort it out into suitcases and boxes. So, yeah. Uh, it, I'm st so, it's been maybe six years uh, of just this, this random DIY, uh, you know, storage 
stuff and thanks for watching uh upside diy have a good day